Waiting to meet Marina Abramovich is a nerve-wracking business. What to expect from a performance artist who's always opted for the unexpected? Whose last big show at New York's Museum of Modern Art had people crying just looking at her? In the end, I didn't cry. Our face-off took place at the Serpentine Gallery in London, where Marina Abramovich will spend most of the next three months. It's not easy. I'm removing even these two chairs. There will be nothing, absolutely nothing. And what will happen? I don't know. And that's why I'm in such a panic. I just want to see what we can do with pure energy, what we can do from the personal contact. Will you be talking? Maybe we'll be silenced, but also I maybe talk later, or maybe we all talk, maybe we scream, maybe we lie on the floor. You know, the thing is so important to see how we can actually create that, that, that a sense of now, here and now, and that's all. Being in the present, the here and now, is where Abramovich wants her audiences. And she certainly got America excited when she performed there four years ago. Three quarters of a million people queued and queued for a chance to sit opposite the silent, staring artist for as long or as short a time as they wanted. New York is a pretty lonely place and lots of pain. And that's something like erupt from inside, outside. And that was an incredible reaction. I didn't expect. How do you think the Brits will feel about it? I'm worried about British. British are sarcastic. They make fun of everything. They are, they are, I don't know, it's like, but plus you drink, you know, I'm very worried about, you know, the Fridays, the Saturdays. This work is, it's in a way, you have to open yourself to, to have experience. In order to experience, you have to be vulnerable. And British don't like too easily to show their vulnerability. Not many 67-year-olds would be dancing with Jay-Z, but celebrity America fates Abramovich. Lady Gaga is her protégé. Here they are practicing the so-called Abramovich method, explained as exercises to heighten awareness in the moment. Suspect? A bit Emperor's New Clothes? There are plenty who think that. In fact, often it was no clothes for an artist who's remained true to performance for more than four decades. For her, it's other parts of the art world that are dubious. When the Francis Bacon triptych was sold for $146 million, it's incredible, you know, talking about this, how you possibly ever could see this painting without seeing money in the front. You know, the, the, the essence of painting is lost. I wanted to rip, take everything away. I want to see, I want to be, bring back to the pureness of, of, the, of art, which is about energy. It could never be said that Abramovich hasn't suffered in her quest to share that energy. In a show in the 1970s, she placed 72 items on a table, from feathers and roses to a loaded gun. For six hours, audiences could use anything against her passive body. I didn't feel any control. This is, I was just object for them. And that was frightening because I understood that the public can kill you. But in this other case... Did anyone pick up the gun? Yeah, of course, they pick up the gun, they put the gun in my hand. You know, they, they, they try to see if I will really t pull the trigger myself by pushing my hand, which I start doing it. And then when somebody else came, completely freak out, take the gun, throw it out on the floor. You know, they, they start fighting. It was a very strong experience that actually, when you, give, when you completely become object, what can happen to you? Does she get a thrill from pain or is it something else? We just don't want pain in our life. But but we are afraid of these things. We are afraid of dying, afraid of pain. I go through this painful experience and I see and I push limits, physical, mental, of my body as far as I can. So if I can do this and liberate myself from the fear of the pain, they can do themselves in their own life. Now came the test, a preview of how her interaction with audiences will begin when the show opens. Remember, Abramovich is one of only two artists on Time magazine's 100 Most Influential People, so she's doing something right. Bring me to that white wall. Yeah, and then I will hold your hand. Really, I find this really great spot, and I try to give all my energy. 
Cynical Brits may mock, but performance art is about experience. And perhaps none of us can judge this unless we see it for ourselves. So that's it, kids. Let's go for it.